Good morning, what's up y'all? It is 4.45 in the morning and I'm already awake. I have on my gym fit, just did some coffee. Talk to me nice. We're about to head to the gym. Today is gonna be a leg day and I'm just proud that I'm awake and I'm at it. Now, I was gonna lie and tell y'all that when I get home, I'm gonna be productive, but to keep it 100, I'm probably gonna get home and sleep until 8.30 because I don't have to be at work till 9.30 and that's just the truth. That's just the truth of it. But I'm so proud y'all. We're trying to make this routine, so I'm not going to get too excited. But day two, I'm giving myself props. I'm doing it. And, guys, yeah, so I'm just sipping my coffee. I'm about to throw on my shoes. Also, y'all, I need to get a gym bag because I don't have one. Like, because I haven't been to the gym in such a long time that I've just been kind of like, you know, like, I don't need a gym bag. But now that I'm going back to the gym, I need a gym bag. I need to have where I can, like, store all my little equipment. So, I'm going to have to find one that I like that's small. Really, I just want a gym fanny pack, which I already own a fanny pack, but I need to find it. Anyway, y'all, that's enough of me rambling. This coffee is strong because it's a concentrate. You're supposed to dilute it, and I don't be listening, but here we are. So, just made it to the gym. I am, like, a minute early because I don't think it opens till 5, but I'm about to go try right now just to see. Just made it home from the gym and I had an excellent workout. But on the way home, I was running through my mental to-do list, y'all. And right now it is 6.14 a.m. In an hour, so by 7.14 a.m., I want to do the following things. <laughs> it's a long one, but we're going to do it, y'all. We're going to do it. Number one, I need to upload a YouTube video because I have been behind schedule this week as far as my uploads. Number two, I want to do a load of laundry. Y'all, I hate laundry. Hate it so much. Don't like doing it. So I'm trying to do it in the morning so that I can have it done when I get home from work. I can put it into, I can fold it, you know, that way it's done. Number three, I need to wash the dishes in my sink. Normally my sink is empty, but something has happened these past few weeks where I'm just leaving the sink to be absolute chaos and it's just not cute. And then the fourth thing and the final thing is that I need to sweep my kitchen floor or vacuum it. Vacuum my kitchen floor, y'all. There's stuff everywhere. It's just really a travesty. So those are my four things. It's six fifteen right now, y'all. Let's start the countdown. Can she do it? I think she can. We're gonna start with the upload on the YouTube video, obviously, because that takes the most like inactive time. If that makes sense. I swear I'm getting it together this office, y'all. But the decorator that I hired for it on heavenly is like very popular so she's super booked so she keeps rolling my time back but that's neither here nor there okay we're just gonna go with it yeah so i have the video already ready to go i just need to ex to export it out into the format that i need for my i just need to like export the final copy um then i need to just upload it this battery's about to die of course y'all Leave it to me, but this is the first thing we're doing. I'm still drinking on this iced coffee. It surprisingly the ice didn't melt in the car. I don't know. I'm shocked because I live in Texas, so it's like hot already. Um, yeah. It takes six minutes to export. Of course, the time's going up. It'll take like ten minutes to export just to the hard drive, and then I'm gonna have to come in here and load it to YouTube. But while that's, you can see it's going right now, so that's good and. I'm gonna go upstairs, put together a load of laundry. I'm sure I have one in my hamper, but I just wanna make sure, and then we will be good to go. Okay, y'all, it's 6.43, and your girl got a little sidetracked from her to-do list, but in my defense, it's because I came up here to get a load of laundry and then i was looking around my bedroom and i was like girl this bedroom is chaotic af so instead of me just grabbing the laundry and heading back downstairs i tidied up my room i still need to vacuum but now this is like a clean space instead of me just coming grabbing the laundry doing dishes at least like one room is pretty much clean it's not deep cleaned by any means but it's like tidy so i'm gonna vacuum here but I have to get the vacuum from downstairs. So right now is the perfect time to get my load of laundry. Um, 
here's my baskets it's supposed here's my baskets it's supposed to be one for whites and one for colors but i do one for stuff that needs to be washed like delicate but to keep it 100 if you wear a lot of fast fashion honestly you should be washing most of your stuff on cold because fast fashion is not meant to be washed all hot and stuff i hate to say it but it's just a fact you know and so this is my one load of laundry i'm committing to i love that now my room is basically tidy i'm just gonna come up here and vacuum in a little bit but first we have to head downstairs y'all i'm like still sweating from my workout which is crazy but i guess that's a good thing <laughs> i can't wait to get in the shower but i know once i get in the shower i'm gonna go straight into a robe and be trying to go straight to sleep so i'm just trying to y'all i'm gonna be pissed off <laughs> oh please don't Unfortunately, I guess when my aunt stayed, I don't know who, but they emptied the thing and they did not put it in the trash can. So I don't have any detergent. So I can't wash my clothes right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and put them in the wash. So that way, at least I know like when I get home, I have them loaded in here. All I got to do is come down here put them in the wash and start it up but yeah somebody i mean i'm blaming it on them it's probably me i probably did it but <laughs> i'm just blaming on them for fun so i'm gonna put this as a half finished task i don't know the clothes are in here I'm gonna leave it open so that it doesn't get extra funky and when i get home from work i'll before i get home from work i'll suffer detergent because yeah well okay so that was point five done now i'm gonna head in here to the office and get ready to finish loading this video because hey the way i normally like to post consistently for y'all and i just have not done it this week so now it's like 6 48 and i'm kind of feeling like should i even try to do the dishes but i know the answer is yes it's like go ahead and do the dishes you said you were gonna ding i'm gonna go upstairs real quick do the laundry and then by the time i come back down i'm not do the laundry do the dishes because then by the time i come back down we'll have a video ready to load not gonna make a thumbnail and that's a different discussion but i'm trying to make sure there's no dishes in the guest room because you know my family comes and stays and then I, like i don't keep up I'll be down there sometimes. Like, I love a good guest room lounge session. <laughs> Especially because I don't have a TV in my room, y'all. Like, I know the guest room is tired of me. It's like, honey, you paid a mortgage. <laughs> okay, y'all. By far, my kitchen is the most disastrous part of the house at this point. Just to keep it 100. Just to keep it 100. The kitchen is criminal. But it's only because I've just been not taking the time to like clean it all the way so i'm about to put on some worship music and get to it with this kitchen so enjoy this little music over it and i don't call it coffin i just call it love it we don't wake up in the summer sink is actually empty not a dish in that bad boy but now i have to clean it actually like disinfect it because let me tell you it's been through some things <laughs> so i'm about to put some of this in there and then i'm gonna use my like to go ahead and vacuum my bedroom then i'm gonna hop in the shower because i'm over cleaning <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> well, why does my whole room smell like oregano? Because when the babies dropped oregano on the floor in my cooking for my family vlog, I told my cousin, I was like, oh, just vacuum it up. Now I see why she told me like, girl, no, we need to use the broom. But I was like, no, 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 just vacuum. The whole <laughs> vacuum smells like 
oregano. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to light a candle and everything in here. I'm, I'm about to go hop in the shower. I will see y'all when I get out and I'll put on my robe. I'm probably gonna lay down for an hour and get up at 8.30, but all well, depends. It's, I'm lying, cause I don't know how long it's gonna take me to shower. But as soon as I get to shower, do my whole routine, I'm gonna lay down, okay? I am fresh out the shower and I have on my satin robe from Target. Y'all, I love this robe so much. I love the color, it feels good. But, I know it's not gonna last long or I'm just, it's gonna look ranky because of the fact that like, you know, I use a lot of oils. I'm a baby oil girl, I'm a baby oil gel girl. I'm a heavy cream, cocoa butter girl, you know, like stuff like that. And it just does not work well with satin, but I'm enjoying it while it lasts. I have already gotten <laughs> back into bed, honey. <laughs> yes, I have. I have my iPad. I'm about to read my book that I'm reading for the week, which is called Fixing Anxiety. And so I'm reading that. I have what's supposed to be my green juice, y'all. It does look kind of green. Okay, so this is my green juice. I put, I think, I don't even know what vegetable it was, y'all. Honestly, this is what happens for my green juices. I start with like the basics that everybody mentions but then i go to whole food and i just vibe so like if it's a green vegetable i'm like oh i'll put it in my green juice so i got a green vegetable that's mostly red and it turned this drink so red but it's working out i shook it up a little bit now it's green definitely has some spice to it because of the ginger but i'm really happy because i juiced yesterday and i made enough for two this is a reminder of why i want to get up go to the gym for 5 a.m every day no matter what because there is nothing like being able to just do all this stuff in the morning and lounge morning y'all we're on the way to my nail appointment i have my breakfast to go i have three eggs and a hash brown and then i have my green juice so we are just rolling i'm about to go get my nails done i need to have them done badly so that is where we're headed in the nail salon right now i got something that's very outside of my comfort zone but i'm trying to be more adventurous so i like them they're just very different now i'm about to hit the gym and then I, you know i'm going to the movies tonight so that is all i have planned i'm starving and so that's it but she was really nice it was it's crazy i'm gonna be honest I had booked with somebody else. I thought I had booked with who I went to last time. So then when I got in there and I'm like, I don't know this lady. I was confused. I'm like, I don't know you, you know? But I just went along with it because I had already booked her. And she had already let me reschedule. So I was just like, I gotta go with the flow. But so yeah, these are the nails. They're different. They're just like fun. I like them. They're just very outside of my comfort zone, so I just have to adjust. Y'all just finished my workout for the day, which I'm so proud. That is workout three or four of the week. 
which is really good for me. Um, I stopped and got oxtail when I left the nail salon, but now I'm so tired. I don't even know if I want to eat it, to be honest. Like, you know, you're just like exhausted. Love this set from Walmart so much. Definitely gonna try to cop some more. But yeah, y'all, that right there was a workout. And I didn't even finish like everything I had wrote down. I just did as much as I could. Sorry, I'm holding all crazy, but it's because I'm tired. I have to start bringing water with me, y'all, because the way I show up to these workouts without an ounce of water is like, who do I think I am? Sorry, I'm looking for my freaking glasses. Of course, I can't find them. Whew. Just made it home from the gym, guys. I am about to heat up some food before I get in the shower because probably as soon as I shower, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little nap. Um, I stopped before I went to the gym and got Jamaican food, so I have oxtails, rice and peas, veggies and then plantain and then i also got a beef patty of course <laughs> but what i'm gonna do to try to be healthy is i'm gonna get out my measuring cups and only do a little bit of the rice and then a little bit of the oxtail and veggie and then save the rest for tomorrow i've actually never been to this oxtail place so i'm gonna do two thirds of rice right there then i'm gonna just take Pretty much one thing of cabbage. For the oxtail, I'm just gonna get um, one. And then I'm gonna do a smaller one. Oh, these look so good, y'all. And then I'm gonna do a little thing of plantain. I wish they would've given me more plantain, but it's, this is gonna be my lunch. It looks really tasty. If you like Jamaican food, if you don't like Jamaican food, you probably are like, girl, what? If you never had oxtails, cause I know my channel's a little diverse, get into oxtails and then I have beef patty. I'm gonna put this beef patty in half, y'all, cause I have to have some bites of it. Like I got to bust down the beef patty. So there we go. And that is everything. Mmm. This is so good. Mm. It's funny because like, you know, I'm black American, like Southern. And so I'm used to Southern oxtails, but every now and again, I'll like crave Jamaican oxtail and they're made differently. The flavor is just a little bit, a bit different. But yeah, I was like, I was right by both. I was right by Jamaican oxtails, and then I was right by um, Southern oxtails, like a soul food spot. So I was like, dang, which one am I gonna go to? And y'all, I was like, I'm gonna do Jamaican, and I'm so glad I did. This is very good. Mm, mm, mm. Bomb. Good morning, it's Saturday, so y'all know what that means. It's weigh-in day. Now, if you ask me, I'm feeling skinny. <laughs> I worked out four times this week. Um, I've been getting my little steps in every day, so I'm feeling good, you know? I'm feeling thin. But, will the scale show it? Now, if you haven't already, go watch last week's because I explained why I'm not gonna weigh in, or why I didn't weigh in last week, but the last time I stepped on a scale, I was 218. So we're about to step on it right now and see what it is and i didn't change y'all just because i'm like running so late i have so much to do today um okay guys i am 216.4 so that's a respectable amount of weight loss you know we didn't move the opposite we didn't go up and that's progress so i'm proud in conclusion, y'all, we're sticking with it. Maybe my goal next week is going to be to be 214. But really, my goal is to work out five days next week and to um, eat my meal prep. But Okay, y'all, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. 
I have been posting three times a week, which is crazy. I'm mixing up my content a little bit. Every week you will get a weight loss video, but I'm also just adding in other stuff that is important to me, like mental health, growth, you know, just jer my journey of life. Um, thank y'all so much. I'll see y'all in the next one, which I'm about to kick off right now. <laughs> Bye. Question, tell me what you think about me. I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings. Only ring or Sally when I'm feeling lonely.